Hello, everyone. I would like to introduce our work on RL, improving mobile video telephony via online reinforcement learning. This is joint work with my colleagues at Beijing University of Post and Telecommunications, advised by Professor Anf Zhou Hua Dongma, and with our collaborator, Professor Xin Zhang from UCSD, and also Xiao Jiang Chen from Alibaba Taobao Group. Real-time interactive video has witnessed many use cases such as live video, VR broadcasting, video calling, and robot teleoperation, and also many mainstream video telephony applications, such as FaceTime, Skype, WeChat, and so on. Such interactive video applications impose the toughest demand on the internet in terms of bandwidth and latency. Recent market research predicts that uh, video traffic keeps dominating the internet, taking up to 71% by 2022. Despite uh, years of evolution, the QE of interactive video remains unsatisfactory, especially because of the wide use of HD videos. In recent years, Many data-driven approaches, particular reinforcement learning, have been proposed to maximize their QE by multi-optically matching their video quality to their instantaneous network condition. Example systems include the PCC family, Pensive, Indigo, Aurora, Concerto, and the newest Parfor, and so on. While showing great potential, these solutions commonly adopt a strategy of learning offline, running online. The learning models are trained in simulators or emulators, and then the trained models are directly deployed and tested in real applications. Unfortunately, such offline learning model leads to far less satisfactory performance in the real world. The root cause lies into interrelated factors. Firstly, it's very challenging to faithfully simulate the complicated real-world internet dynamics. Individual routers along a network path can bear various capabilities and states, such as multi-flow competition, packet drop strategy, load-induced quality fluctuation, let alone the completed interaction among multiple protocol layers on end devices. Secondly, the capacity of a data-driven algorithm is strictly bounded by its learning environment. Its experience acquired via trial and error in a simulator may become still when coping with the real-world network conditions that I've seen before. To quantitatively understand the limitation of offline learning, we first run a micro benchmark experiment where we compare the performance of two simulation trained models in two different testing environments. We find that their performance drops significantly after the testing environment is changed from the simulator to a test bed. The red figure here plus a segment of the model's action against the ground truth bandwidth. We observe that Concerto in simulation environment can follow the bandwidth very closely despite our high dynamics, but cannot follow the bandwidth when coping with the same traces in the test environment. We conclude this problem as the simulation to reality gap. Once the deployment environment differs from the training environment, the offline reinforcement learning model's experience becomes still, leading to unsatisfactory performance. In this work, we seek to close the gap through NRL our first online reinforcement learning-based adaption framework for mobile video telephony. 
instead of learning in simulator. On our runs and keeps training at runtime, directly within the operational video telephony system, so as to learn and respond to the real network conditions. On our is not merely a straightforward learning environment shift. Instead, it raises three unique design challenges. In conventional offline learning, one can collect and concrete network traces from individual users and fit them into a simulator or emulator to train a reinforcement learning model. But for our online learning, there is no pre-collected traces. Instead, a massive number of video sessions run simultaneously, during which the learning algorithm needs to involve with each session in real time. So the first challenge is how to learn from massive concurrent video telephony sessions in real time. Secondly, a basic requirement for effective learning is that the learning algorithm's action should be faithfully executed. For conventional reinforcement learning, like AlphaGo and offline simulation training, the environment can strictly enforce R's action and feedback to the agent. However, when RL meets video telephony, its action cannot be strictly enforced by the video codec, particularly in short time skills. We refer to this problem as action deviation. Thirdly, an RR algorithm is actually a black box, which learns by following a trial and error principle. Its action is not guaranteed to be safe when applied to online learning. Currently, a wrong decision risks disrupting the system and damaging the QE. To meet the first challenge, we propose a two-stage online learning architecture. Firstly, we design a new deep reinforcement learning model and associate an individualized reinforcement learning model instance with each user. In this way, each user leads to a different reinforcement learning model with its own learning experience. Secondly, we aggregate all users' experience following a federated learning principle, so as to form a high-level model that can react to any network dynamics and seen by individuals. The two stages operate interactively. The continuous interactions aim to strike a balance between each user's personalized experience and their swarm experience from all users. This figure shows RR's reinforcement learning model, including state, action, and the narrow network architecture. The input consists of the RTCP level information, such as loss rate, delay, delay into, and receiver throughput. Then RR flattens the sequences and fits them into two similar neural networks. One is used for feature extraction and then outputs the bitrate action, and the other is served to judge the overall objective lack of character. To strike a balance between the individual and the swarm experience, we propose a weighted model aggregation method. We utilize the strong feature representation ability of neural network parameters to realize the model aggregation. Results show that even the simplest learning aggregation has gains on store rate and throughput. This verifies on our learning aggregation stage indeed have to improve QE after leveraging their swarm intelligence. Also, we find that different weighted value or prioritized models has much better QE. In video telephony, the video codecs have their own control logic dependent on 
image sense dynamics, compression strategy, and even device computing capacities. Also, Pacer's actual sending rate controlled by the underlying WebRTC protocol still develops widely from the target rate. This results in inherent and substantial video bitrate fluctuation. To overcome the problem, we further customize the model by implicitly learning the gap by simply feeding the gap into the RL narrow network model. In this way, RL can learn the dynamics of the gap and then remedy the impacts by tuning its reward operation automatically. By learning to tolerate the action derivation, RL can largely decrease the stalling rate and the loss rate without any harm on throughput and PSNR. Due to RL's black box nature and the chair and arrow principle, RL risks disrupting the system when applied directly to online learning. In particular, the algorithm may take incorrect exploration actions that lead to bad effects. For example, we provide a showcase where the video bitrate, packet delay, and the ground truth network benefits are sampled from controlled experiments on a local testbed. We find that within 10 minutes, there exist eight instances where the error generated bitrate overshoots the available bandwidth, causing latency spikes, which is unacceptable for real-time video. To solve this challenge, we introduce a robust hybrid learning scheme on R falls back to the safe rule whenever the R operates abnormally. It maps each of such switching events as a penalty into RL's reward function. In particular, we design a delay-based filter to discriminate how well the R-based control algorithm performs. If it runs normally, RL agent will control the bit rate. But once it's judged abnormally, the safe policy will act as a teacher, augment the R learning by adaptive penalty until the system can run normally. Our ablation study shows that the hybrid policy can further decrease the stalling rate by 66.6% and the loss rate by 17.2%. We have implemented RR based on the operational Taobao Live video telephony system. We implemented RR via a cloud-assisted framework due to the lack of API for training reinforcement learning on mobile devices. Besides the pair of video telephony sender and receiver, we introduced a reinforcement learning server on which we implement the three design components of RL based on TensorFlow framework. The model size is 32 KB, and RL's high scalability is guaranteed using the Alibaba Cloud Management System. As for the learning aggregation frequency, it's once per day, which is typically in the early morning with the least users. We examine the limitations of offline learning and the real-world network conditions. Comparing with state-of-the-art, we find that RL achieves the most compelling video QE. In particular, it outperforms the most competent offline trend scheme concerto by 31.9% in terms of video throughput and leads to a remarkable 78.3% reduction in stalling rate, which again corroborates the benefits of online learning mechanism. Accordingly, RR also shows the smallest packet delays and loss rates, which confirm its ability to cope with the network dynamics.
The result further validates the necessary of online learning for optimizing real-time interactive video under real network conditions. We distribute a beta version of Taobao Live equipped with ONRL to real-world users for a large-scale system-level evaluation. In particular, there are 151 users from 30 cities, and we collect 543 hours of video telephony sessions from them. We observe that ONRL achieves remarkable improvement in terms of transport layer metrics. Secondly, the transport layer advantages transform into application layer performance gains. For example, it reduces stalling rate by 14.22% while maintaining almost the same video throughput. Please check our paper for more evaluation. For instance, on our performance breakdown on various network environments and on our switching frequency with safe policy. To summarize, in order to close the simulation to reality gap, we design an online reinforcement learning based real time video telephony to solve three challenges. Firstly, we design two stage online learning to learn from concurrent telephony sessions. Secondly, we incorporate a novel mechanism to handle the adverse impacts of inherent video traffic dynamics. And thirdly, we propose robust hybrid learning to avoid the QE damage from regular exploration or reinforcement learning. We believe the mechanism we introduce in RR can benefit many real-time video applications and potentially other data-driven network protocols and applications. For more details, please refer to our full paper. Thank you very much.